Thanks for joining us on CTV News Channel. I'm Amanda Blitz. Well, our top story this hour, an ISIS fighter from Ottawa purportedly appears in an ISIS propaganda video, and in it, he threatens Canadians will be indiscriminately targeted in retaliation for Canada joining the International Military Coalition against ISIS. Listen. I was one of you. I was a typical Canadian. I grew up on the hockey rink and spent my teenage years on stage playing guitar. I had no criminal record, I was a bright student and maintained a strong GPA in university. Now, several reports have identified the man as 23-year-old John McGuire, originally from Kempville, Ontario. He attended the University of Ottawa before converting to Islam and disappearing nearly two years ago. In the video, he says the attacks on home soil were a direct response to Canada's role in Iraq. He says that waging jihad against the West is beyond a shadow of a doubt a religious obligation binding upon every Muslim. Let's bring in Michael Zakulin into this story. He's uh, for, joining us from Calgary, a political science professor at the University of Calgary, specializing in radicalization and terrorism. Michael, we've talked to you before. Thanks again for joining us. So what do you make of this video? Uh, well, the, the video is very interesting. Uh, I think you actually played a very uh, appropriate clip uh, because it actually provides a, a very sort of standard narrative for what we're seeing here. So trying to identify with individuals who are here. Uh, one interesting point I, no I found was the fact that he specifically goes out of his way to mention that he had no criminal record. Uh, and again, what the uh, the Western narrative is, is the individuals who are becoming susceptible to radicalization. Uh, these are individuals with troubled past. These are individuals uh, suffering from you know mental distress. Uh, and so I found that very interesting that he's actually trying to flip the narrative a little bit and, and make it very clear that he is an average, everyday, normal to the best of his ability, that's what he's trying to convey to us. All right, so in light of that, though, what do experts take away from that information? I mean, we often are looking at people being targeted specifically because they're outcasts or loners or the typical just um, dialogue that we've heard before. Somebody like you who has an expertise in this area, what does this mean then? Well, uh, this is the thing in terms of a very small sample size will reveal that uh, the individuals that we are focusing on more recently, uh, Mr. Zehaf Bibo and Mr. Uh, Kutu Rulo, uh, they did have troubled pasts. They did come from uh, broken homes, uh, for example. But the reality is, is if you extrapolate that out to a larger sample, it is not the case. Uh, you find individuals from, um, you know, good homes with good jobs and education, never been in trouble. Uh, so again, just have to be very, very careful in, in terms of, of trying to sort of paint this uh, in terms of criminality or mental distress when in some cases, yes, but in other cases, no. And, and how do politicians respond when they hear this kind of video? I mean, should how should they respond? Do they up security? Does anything change in, some, in light of this? Uh, no, I don't entirely think so. I, government and law enforcement and intelligence agencies uh, are, of course, well aware of the threat. Uh, they're do doing their due diligence and, and vigilance is required. Uh, but this is not something necessarily where they'll be, you know, suggesting that this is, means anything is imminent. Uh, this, unfortunately, has become uh, par for the course. So to what extent do you expect we'll see more of these videos of radicalized Canadians? Well, it depends. Uh, again, we're going to argue that there's a specific sort of reason why they're doing this. Uh, perhaps it's because it's close to the holidays and they're trying to intimidate people. Uh, perhaps it, it, they're trying to uh, counter the fact that they are, are being perceived as, uh, as weaker uh, in the past couple of weeks or months because of the airstrikes. Uh, there's all kinds of reasons they could be doing this. Uh, but the reality is, is that the, the Westerners and the Canadians uh, of course, make very good uh, propaganda. And uh, again, speaking directly to Canadians and speaking directly to uh, Muslims living in Canada, uh, this is uh, this is planned out specifically in this way. Michael Zakulin shedding some light on this uh, new ISIS propaganda propaganda video, purportedly showing a Canadian. Thank you so much for your time, Michael. Appreciate it. My pleasure.